Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Shannon. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you being here. I hope by the end of the video you may consider subscribing and ringing that notification bell. I would love to see you here next time. And without further ado, we're going to dive right into this video. It is a continuation on in my collection series and we are going to be talking about my bullet drugstore lipsticks. And yeah, we've got a few to talk about. So let's jump in. Um, okay, so the first series or collection is these Rimmel Kates. I love these, you guys. I am a huge fan of the Rimmel Kate collection. I think these lipsticks are divine. Um, I have three different shades. The first one is number 31, which is a beautiful red. I think these are, the formula is just so good. I have number one. So that's 31. That's one. And then my favorite of the three is number 107. Like I've, I've torn this one up. So these are the three Rimmel Kates that I have. I love their price point. I think they are extremely comfortable to wear and they wear for quite a while. When they do wear down, they wear down gracefully, which I like as well. Um, they are not completely flat matte. As you can see, they do have a bit of a sheen to them, but it's nothing crazy. These pair well with glosses. I've definitely layered um, glosses on top of these and they wear just as beautifully. And I'm just a huge fan of this Rimmel Kate collection. So I do have three of them. I love them. I think they're great. Um, the next ones are from Maybelline and I have three of them. So the three that I have from, oh, I'm sorry. Is it three? Yeah. I have three from Maybelline and I also really enjoy the Maybelline lipstick formula. This one is in the shade number 405, Pretty and Plum. It's just a fun purple. I also love that the cap sort of matches the color. I just think that's fun. So that's number, what was it? 405, Pretty and Plum. The next one I have is number 805, Orange Danger. This one is definitely more of a matte. And it is just that fun, like, orangey summer color. I like Maybelline because they do have these different sort of colors. You know, not all the drugstore lipsticks have these fun colors where Maybelline covers that. And then I have number 635, Very Cherry. So this is just a beautiful, stunning red. And so that is Very Cherry. And they all have that sheen except Orange Danger. Now, I also love that the Maybelline ones, the price point's great, but also they have several different finishes. So if you prefer a matte, they have mattes. If you prefer a creamy formula, they have creamy formulas. A satin, they have a satin. So I just, I love the versatility in their line. And I think overall, any Maybelline product I've tried, I've really enjoyed. I also have one more that's in my bag that I cannot get because it's not right here, but it is touchable taupe and it is a nude and I am obsessed with it. It is a beautiful nude, um, definitely a little bit on the cool tone side and so I have four actually. Um, all right, so the next one is from L'Oreal. This is the only one that I have in this format, but I would really love to get more of these. These are their new Color Reshine Balms. I love the packaging. I think it looks super luxe. The only downfall is these are around, I think the $10 price point, but they're worth every penny. These are super comfortable on the lips, you guys. If you have super dry lips, these are literally, they feel like chapstick but like an ultra pigmented chapstick. Um, they're just so comfortable. They wear beautifully throughout the day. They don't slip and slide all over the face. And I have mine in the shade 904 Vanished Rosewood. And I just, I think that color is beautiful. Like I said, super comfortable to wear. They're really, really wonderful. I highly recommend. All right, the next one is from e.l.f. It is the only one that I have from e.l.f. And this one is in the shade Bordeaux Beauty. All right, so it's just a rich, very rich wine color. These are okay. Um, they're not my all-time favorite lip of life. Um, I feel like they kind of feather a little bit, so maybe I would like it better in more of a nude shade. 
but yeah, that's Bordeaux Berry. Really pretty fall color. All right, next is the Ulta Beauty Lipstick. This pink chocolate specifically from Ulta is like my jam, you guys. I love this lipstick. We got it in the last bag that they came out with and I literally am obsessed with this thing. I cannot get enough of it. I think the shade is absolutely beautiful. It's just one of those perfect everyday wearable lipsticks and I just, I love the formula. They're comfortable. This color is beautiful. Love it. All right, and then the next three are from Essence. I love Essence. Um, actually, I have a backup of one of them, so I guess I have two, technically. So the first one is number 27, and it's just this really pretty, like, purple. These kind of remind me of the Color Riche Balms because they're just sort of they're they're not fully opaque um they kind of have that balmy consistency to them they're very comfortable on the lips you have to definitely build this shade up in order to get full opacity but i kind of like that about it basically what i'll do with this is i'll just kind of tap it on and then dab it out with my finger just to get that kind of stain effect that blotted lip effect and i really really for the price i mean you can't beat it and then the next one is in the shade come naturally now honestly you guys this is one of my all-time favorite bullet lipsticks. I love the formula. I love that color. I love how easy this is to wear. Oh, it's just so comfortable. I think these are like $3, you guys. Like, you really can't beat it. Um, so much so that, like, I immediately went out and bought a backup. I had the shade Cool Nude also, but I think I used it on a bride, and she ended up putting it in her clutch. So I don't have Cool Nude anymore, but um, I really love that shade. Cool Nude was a beautiful, cool-toned, like, mauve color. I, I really wish I still had it because I don't think they carry them anymore. If I'd have known that then, I would have been a little bit, a uh, little bit more uh, hesitant, if you will, on get, just giving it out. But anyways, number 511 Magenta Rush. I have two of these Burt's Bees chapsticks. These are okay, you guys. Um, they're not my all-time favorites. They are just a wash of color. They're not fully opaque, but they are comfortable. Like, if you're just looking for something to kind of chuck in your bag, something that you don't necessarily need a mirror for, these are nice. I did purchase more of these because they were clearancing them out at my local drugstore, um, but I did declutter a couple of them just because they really weren't my shade. And then this is just a really pretty cool tone pink. And this is the shade Tulip Tide. Again, these are really easy to wear. They remind me a lot of just, you know, chap like colored chapsticks. So I kind of keep them around for the winter months. Like if I just need something to throw on my lips, they're just not really winter colors. That's the unfortunate part. But you could throw them in a beach bag. You know what I mean? Not something I would necessarily repurchase, but not something that I've decluttered yet if that makes sense all right now these were like some of my first lip purchases like when I really started getting into makeup and I've decluttered two of them I believe but these are the three that I kept around now the first one I ever purchased was in the shade addiction and I put these with my bullet lipsticks because they don't dry down like a matte liquid lip even though it says they're the Ultra HD Matte Lip Colors from Revlon, these do not fully dry down. So this one is in the shade Addiction, and you guys, I was literally hooked on this for weeks. Like, day after day, I would wear this color. I think this is such a beautiful shade. And again, these are really hit and miss with people. I personally really enjoy them. I don't enjoy the entire line. Like I purchased several of them after loving this one so much, um, but I've decluttered two. So they are hit and miss within the range, but the shade Addiction is absolutely stunning. And I love that these aren't as drying as some of my liquid lips. So really pretty color. As you can see, it's just that beautiful berry. The next one I picked up was in the shade Kisses. And oh, I just love this color. I need to pull these back into my shop, my stash, because I do really enjoy these. Whoops, almost dropped it. All right, so this is Kisses. Super pretty. 
they have a strong scent. If you do not like a strong scent in your lips, then you won't like these because it, it is pretty strong. It's a sweet smell, but I know some people do not like that. And then the last one I kept is in the shade Passion, and it's just a really pretty, like, red. And so that is the last shade. No, I'm sorry, this one. And that one was Passion. So those are all my bullet, li uh, bullet lipsticks from the drugstore. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, let me know. You know I'll answer. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.